Well, I think it's uh, it's interesting how some numbers have a group of outstanding players. Some have very few players, uh, very few of note. Uh, I, I thought that was interesting. In some cases, it might be the first number that a kid ever got as a little league player or as a football player uh, and had superstition kept it or wanted his dad's number or friends. You know, there's there's all different reasons. Yet it's, it's strange that some, there were some numbers that very few people with no war. And then you have a situation where someone comes in and wants a number and has a veteran in that number and they'll have to wait unless the veteran uh, is willing to give it to them, which seldom happens, um, and wait a year or two and then change numbers and, and have a different number, uh, different numbers throughout his career. But uh, yeah, and many times in recruiting it's, it is an important factor. I, I didn't want that number. Remember, when I was a freshman, it was two platoon football. So I was a, you know, you played guard and you played line. That's the Nebraska system. You were a guard and you were a linebacker. And so most of the linebackers that back then were, uh, were in the 50s. Um, so, but when the next year, uh, when I was a sophomore, you played varsity. Freshmen were ineligible. You were just assigned a number. You didn't complain about it. I didn't ask for any, I wasn't good enough to ask for a specific number. Whatever they gave me, I wore. Um, so 33 was available. I didn't care. It didn't make any difference to me. In both cases, outstanding players, both NFL players, uh, both coming into the program different, both in-state players. Mike Verstegen uh, was a un really thin, undersized guy. We were taking, we were rolling the dice on in my first season. I, I liked his attitude. He was a tough guy. Thought he would fill out. Ended up being a great player for us. Benning was recruited. He was a highly recruited player. You knew that he was going to be outstanding. Um, I think both of them lived up to, you know, what we expected of them. Uh, Dan being, a, I believe, a four-year starter for us, and uh, I think Ver Ver was probably a four-year starter. So, you know, one was a tackle, one was a guard, but both very dependable, very consistent. You know, it's a flip of the coin who you take, who's the best of those two. I, I don't know. Um, they're both pretty good. Well, the thing you have to look at, because of weight training and nutrition, the guys in, in my era were much bigger and stronger and probably faster than the guys in the 50s and 60s era, and in 70, and maybe even the 70s era. Um, so you, I, I try to judge them how they compared to the players during their time, the impact that they had during that specific time, rather than who was better physically, you know, who was bigger, who was faster, and compare one another.